been quite a few years ago. This is uh, 1969, and uh, this is the cap. Uh, and inside it was my original dog tags. And Unpacking his old original Army original dress uniform. Tag. U.S. 67 one zero zero five twenty six. I had to recite that every time we uh, got ready to eat chow. Robert Minter uncovers personal mementos and, hidden uh, since the late 60s. Uh, at the time they had a law said that uh, uh, if you make, got past your 25th birthday, you wouldn't get drafted. And they got me two weeks prior. Holding his medals, last pay stub, and this worn photo stirs turbulent, violent, and vivid memories. When I come out of the field, I weigh 88 pounds. And I had to eat steaks and potatoes three days a week to try to get me up to 100 pounds. I got Robert joined the pounds. fight in Vietnam during the epic civil rights struggle in Knoxville and across the South. There's a lot of places I couldn't eat, even if I had my uniform on. Yeah, it set you back, it made you mad. And when you went to Vietnam, those who spoke English asked you, why are you over here fighting and you're not free at home? You know, what do you say? In the jungle, Robert says, the color lines blurred. In the bush, you all brothers. You fought together, you slept together, and you ate together. But one bullet rattled that fragile harmony. The day an assassin killed Dr. King in Tennessee, tensions rose in Vietnam. Robert says the Army feared an uprising by black soldiers. And, uh, they had called a ceasefire and threatened to take the weapons up. Robert spent more than 300 days on the front lines. His infantry crew earned medals of valor, but he recalls out of the 40 original soldiers in his platoon, four made it home. Yeah, your friends would get killed beside you. Yeah, you, you cried, you sobbed. It takes its toll on you, mentally and physically. Believe it or not, when we got ready to come home, uh, the first thing they told you, you know, take your uniform off. And uh, when I got off the plane and got down them steps, I kissed the ground because I was happy to be home. His pain from those days, long tucked away, rushed back as Robert reflected on his homecoming. But uh, that's how good. Oh, man. But this Vietnam vet worries far less about his past than his future. I wonder if I am going to be taken care of when I get real old for serving my country.